So this footage you're seeing now was not intended one, one, one. as a video that I was going to put on YouTube. I don't know if the mic is working. I recently purchased a new camera and microphone setup specifically for my cycling exploits. Now this is good news for any of you that enjoy watching my cycling videos because it means that I've invested time and money into something that's going to make cycling better or make the recording of my cycling better. Anyway, I'm going off on tangent. Mic 2 transmitter connected. Good. It connects automatically. Ah, oh, I didn't know if the mic was working. My new found love affair with cycling indoors and outdoors has meant that I've now invested into that as a hobby. Basically, I've bought a really expensive camera microphone setup that gets rid of wind noise. Again, I'm waffling. This is just test footage to see whether the new microphone that I'm wearing actually works on the bike and whether it makes a difference. Obviously the wind noise, I want to reduce wind noise as much as possible. This isn't going to make it into a video. I just wanted to do a test run. Tracy's back there somewhere. Me and Tracy have gone out for a bike ride. Nice summer's day. Since London to Brighton, I've been on several uneventful, and when I say uneventful, I mean I haven't fallen off the bike. Oh. I've been on several uneventful bike rides. Just rides out in the sunshine around local roads. And yesterday's ride was no different, except that it was just a tester for the microphone and camera, just to make sure they work well when I'm out on the bike. Her little legs grinding up the hill. This hill's at least 12%. <laughs> She's going for it. She came out the saddle, do that again. <laughs> Bloody cleats. Second one's not in. No, it is. This hill isn't 12%, by the way. I was joking. Right, this has got the really steep hill here. What? That wasn't even the hill? No. Oh. This is the really steep one. It's my favourite one where you can super tuck. I just recorded going down the hill. Forgot to press record. Ah, oh, there's a frog. Hang on. Let me save it. This is where I destroy my cleats. Ah, oh, look. Little frog. Hey! Okay, we found a nice bit of gravel that we can uh, off-road on, as long as I don't hit potholes. There she goes! She's gone! Oh my goodness! Good hill. I do like that hill. You should put it in the higher gear, in the uh, high big ring. Higher or lower? In the big ring, lower. Oh, <laughs> Get this, guys. Height of summer, about 25 degrees, Sunday afternoon. Sun's out, cleats out. <laughs> However, something happened on this ride that I thought I'd make into a short first impressions video. So here it is. Right, we're just coming to the end of the gravel path. We've just turned around, coming back. Stop. What? Your tire's going flat. Oh. Stop. You must have a puncture. Hang on, let me get good news and bad news. Bad news first. I have my first puncher. Good news is I've brought something that I can use to inflate it, hopefully anyway, fingers crossed. So there's a bit of green here. I'm gonna move over and try and repair it. Fingers crossed, it's the first time I've ever, I'm sounding excited, I'm sounding more excited than I should be for a flat. I'm pretty sure this is a novel feeling for most cyclists, I know. I'm feeling excited because I've never changed a tire before and I was gonna do it practice in the comfort of my own garage. I'm out on the trails with Tracy. Luckily we're not on the gravel trails. There's a 
there's a green here, so I'm going to pull over here, change the tyre, because I've bought something to help with it. And I've been carrying it around for the last few weeks, hoping at some point I'll get a puncher. So I'm going to do that now. Very recently, I was sent the brand new Cycle... Uh, actually, let me get it. Very recently, I was sent the brand new Cycle Plus AS2 Pro Max electric bicycle tyre inflator. Here's the box. This I was sent recently. This, this is the actual thing. Very, very small. I will say it's actually a really good size. So this is an electric bicycle tire inflator specifically made to inflate bike tires. <laughs> I don't know which one's the wheel. I think it's this one. I think, yeah, it's this one. Yeah, just put it down. Right, I'm going to take the inner tube out. I don't think you need that when it's flat, do you? Yeah. I've never done it before. I do, yeah. I think this is a bit thick, this one. The men on the Tour de France did this in seconds. What, changed an inner tube? Yeah. I don't think they did. There we go. Done. All right. I can just edit that bit out. I can make it look a lot easier. I make it look like I know what I'm doing. Do you want to do some exciting camera angles or like move around and get a bit closer? That's it. Thanks. All right, how do you get that out? How do I get that out? Bloody hell. I was only supposed to be filming for um, testing the microphone. I'm pleased I've got my camera. We're still filming this, are we? I've actually, um, Jesus Christ. I've actually got something exciting to show you in a second. I've got a new toy. Are you sure you bought the right ones? Probably not. I'd rather do it now when I'm with you and I'm not on my own in the Outer Hebrides. All right, is that all straight? Is that all the same? No, it's not. What have I done wrong? Have you twisted it? Yeah. Oh, this is all too, this is all too fiddly for me. You're not very good with fiddly things. Nope. That goes up in there and then this goes back on. So I've got a new toy. I've got the Psych Plus. This is the Psych Plus Oh Christ, what's it called? Psych Plus AS2 Pro Max. I'm gonna take my helmet off. I've had the CO2 tire inflator thing with the gasket thing that goes on top of the little bottles. And I've had the little hand pump. I've seen a couple of YouTubers use this and I've managed to get my hands on one. I will say very quickly, in the interest of transparency, I was actually sent it. I made inquiries and I'll come onto that in a second as to why I made inquiries because I was looking for something as a solution to my anxiety around getting a puncture on a bike. But yeah, this is it. For the London to Brighton bike ride, I carried the CO2 canisters with the nozzle and a small hand pump. With the CO2, I hadn't seen very good reviews of these on YouTube. Apparently the nozzle can get really cold when you're using it and they're finicky and less than ideal when you want to inflate a tire, especially if you're a newbie who's anxious about changing tires on the side of the road and is under time constraints. This is the first time we're using it. This has been sat in my little bag on my bike and I've been out for several rides now since London to Brighton and London to Brighton worried me. The amount of people that were sat by the side of the road with punctures made me want to buy one of these because I didn't really fancy having to do this by hand. There we go. Done? Yeah. Now you just got to inflate now it. Now I just got to inflate it. Right, you're gonna film this? This is got this is the good bit. So this needs to go up between, it says it says PSI 45 to 70. So look, film this. So if I turn this on. Okay, so I need to turn that down. So I'm going to put this to, if it says 45, I'll put it at 65. I don't think you, you can see the numbers. Oh, the numbers aren't. All right, well, I'll move it to 65. All right, that's on 65. I don't think you can see that on screen, but I'm going to do it at 65. You ready? Yeah. Oh, I've just turned it off. <laughs> Hang on, try that again. How quick is this? Right. That's it. And it Did stops. It stop automatically? Yeah, that scared me. That's why I jumped. <laughs> it stopped automatically. That's why it's got the numbers on there. So you can set it to your maximum PSI and it will never over inflate. How quick was that? Can you see it? No, I don't think so. Oh, well, it's got two out of three bars left. So this advertises at, I think, seven inflations. 
But is that inflation from flat or just the... From flat, I think. So I've got either the less than ideal CO2 nonsense I've got to deal with or the laborious hand pump. These were the two options. I inquired about this, the electric hand pump. So I was looking for something that just made my life easier, something I could carry around and electric pumps made sense. Now I've been carrying this pump around with me for what feels like an eternity. It's only been a, a couple of weeks on a few bike rides. And yesterday, on yesterday's bike ride with Tracy, I finally got a puncher and I was far too excited to have a puncher as I now got to use my electric pump. Under a minute from completely flat to full PSI. <sighs> this was actually a good video. I'm pleased to have my camera with me. It's actually worked out well, my new mic. I'm not doing a review on the mic because yeah, yeah, I don't know anything about microphones. Not like I know anything about bikes, but at least I'm out cycling. Right, I'm going home because I'm hungry. For the record, this video isn't sponsored and I'm not being paid to make this video. However, when I inquired about the pump, when I inquired to buy it, they did send it to me for free. I assume my channel has now reached a point where I get stuff for free. I'm also not a cycling expert, so this video is not how to use the pump. Um, there's far better videos for that if you need to know how to use it. I mean, it's literally plug and go. It's simply a first impressions from a newbie cyclist perspective. That's what this video is. The best feature was, I've already mentioned this, the best feature was how quickly it inflated the tire. The fact that I was able to use this without issue, me, means that it's idiot proof. Now I never know how much to inflate the tire by. I always, and I mean always, get the PSI levels wrong. I know it's written on the side of the tire, and I do try and follow that, but there's no way of measuring it with a CO2, and there's certainly no way of measuring it with a hand pump. The fact that this pump has a feature that not only measures the PSI of the tire, but it displays it on the, on the display output, but it also cuts the pressure off when it's reached the limit that you set it to. You can set the limit yourself. It takes the stress out of replacing the tire by the side of the road, which was something I wasn't looking forward to doing. And it's one of the reasons I'm making this video. I don't normally make videos uh, review videos about products. I don't sell products, that's not the point of my channel. My point of my channel is to document my journey, but considering they sent me this, I thought I'd make a video because it is actually something I'm gonna use now. I'm gonna keep this on my bike and I'm gonna dispense, I'm gonna keep the hand pump just in case, because it is electric, so. I felt this pump also fitted into the description of really, really good for newbie cyclists. So that's it for this video. Hopefully I'll see you in Friday's main feature video, Friday at four o'clock. UK time, it's gonna be a really good video. It's gonna be Zwift related. So yeah, if you enjoy those videos, you're gonna love this week's video. See you then.